But I don't care where you're from. Mm -hmm. You need to be polite. You, I speak to the President of the United States. He's only a few years old. I, yes, sir. Yes, sir, oh, Mr. Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, Mrs. First Lady. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You have to know how to be. Some people just don't know how to be. And, 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 and I need everybody, every mother out there that's listening right now, I need for you to Google etiquette stuff for your daughters. L young ladies out here don't know how to sit, don't know how to sit at a table and eat, don't know how to dress, don't know how to be. Because a lot of kids don't know how to be because the mothers don't know how to be. And that's fine because if you don't know how to be, the information is out there. Because I go on Google myself. Because when I'm trying to teach my daughters what to do and how to eat, I Google it. And we sit down and we practice eating. I, I fix a salad. I said, let's practice eating properly, using proper table manners. That ain't the way white folks eat. That ain't the way white folks speak. Now, that ain't about mean you acting white. We talking about doing doing things the right way, getting out of your... I met a, la I met a dude last night. Lord Jesus, I wish I, I had his card in my pocket. 21 years old, had a suit on and a bow tie. Dressed up real nice, him and his girlfriend, both of them 21, they were very, dressed very nice. He had a suit on and a bow tie. I said, well, why you dress up? He said, I have a bow tie business, but I did dress up because I thought that I was going to meet Mr. Ricky Smiley tonight. And he said, sir, it was a pleasure to meet you. I promise to God if I had a position open, I would hire that young man on the spot. That young man reminded me of myself when me and George Fleming and all them dudes that was in Club Polo and Club CE, we was dressed up. We was trying to be something. We lived in the projects. We were getting dropped off in the project, but when you see us out, man, we had our suits on, them shirts and ties, go to school, dress for success. Nobody knew where we came from. Nobody saw that long walk home in the project. You got to want to be something. You ain't got to be around these, like all the people in your environment. You don't have to be a product of your environment. Don't let the, hey, don't let what Reverend Jesse Jackson say, uh, 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 you don't have to let the projects live in you. Yeah, you live in the projects, but the projects don't have to live in you. Look how we be fighting at Chuck E. Cheese, fighting, fighting at somebody fighting at the cemetery, posting all these fights on Facebook and World Star, celebrating all this kind of stuff, celebrating guns and shooting folks. But you out there laid out laying in the grass crying when somebody kills somebody in your family. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? Ain't no decency, ain't no order. We just out of order. You can't blame the white man for this. You can't blame nobody for this. Can't blame nobody. It's you. It's your choice. At some point, hey, let, let me get into the psychological part because we're talking. I'm going to say this right here. I want y'all to listen to me real close. This is deep right here. You can sit up here and go to a counselor and say you're doing all this stuff because your daddy wasn't in your life or your daddy dead or your mama dead or your mama was on crack or your mama wasn't in your life. I had to stay with my grandmama. We ain't had this. We had, that ain't nothing but an excuse. Because guess what? All of us messed up. Hair crack, you got mom and daddy issues. Brett, don't you got mom and daddy issues? Cool. Gary got mom and daddy issues. Beyonce got mom and daddy. Everybody in this room got some kind of mama and daddy issues. But guess what? When you get in that damn car and that and you get to a red light, guess what you got to do? What man, you got to do, crack? Got man up. You got to stop. When you get to that red light, you have to stop. So the police pull you up and say, why you ran that red light? What you going to say? Well, you know, my mama wasn't in my life and my daddy uh, uh, abused me. You still got to abide by the rules and the regulations and the laws. Yeah. So don't let no counselor get all up in your business and get all up in your head, making you use all the stuff that you as an excuse to do wrong. Because that's what they're doing now. They're using it. An excuse is building bridges to nowhere, creating monuments of nothingness. Hmm. 